welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at some additional features of Clicker Boards. We'll create a new Clicker Board by going to the Clicker Search ribbon and clicking New, and then going to the Planning Boards tab. We'll start with this template. Let's use this template to create a planner that explores arguments for and against school uniforms. Since we don't need the centre column, we'll drag across those cells to select them, and then either hit delete on the keyboard, or click this. We'll change the colour and shape of the for and against cells, by holding CTRL and clicking on both cells. Then we can go here to change the shape, and here to change the colour. If we shift right click on a cell, we get a menu to make additional changes to the cell. Here we can change the alignment of the text, or we can choose what the maximum size of the text in the cells is. We'll choose 26, so you can see that no matter how large the cell gets, the text will now stay at 26. For these cells, we need them to be larger. We can resize one of the cells, and then select all of the cells, and this time, when we shift right click, the menu has additional options, including make same size. To make it easier to line up the cells, again we can multiple select some cells, and then if we shift right click on this cell, we can use the menu to align the other cells to the centre of this one. We'll do the same for the other column. If we right click on any line, it gives us some options, such as changing the colour of the line, but also adding points to the line, which we can use to control where a line goes. These additional features help to create mind maps or planning boards that are clear and well laid out for learners. Thanks for watching. See our other tutorials for more clicker features.